is a quick video. So discussing about this house and while it was under closing, we had a big rainstorm. And a lot of people flooded. And they do have evidence in the other room that they have window wells that flooded. So they didn't find out until they moved in and this contractor started doing some renovations that they had mold. This just so happens to be the furnace room. You can see the water heater and the furnace is behind this contained plastic. So they removed the baseboard and they found this and they drilled some holes in there. It's a good thing to put holes in there, but this is one thing. If you've ever taken baseboards off and you see mold that looks like this or similar to these black spots, you want to stop. You can see all here. You want to stop after about three feet, two feet even. Even one foot if you think that it's, it's a lot more. A hire a professional or before you remove any of that or disturb it, you build a containment because now there's a lot of spores in the air. But what we're doing now is containing it just not to cross contaminate it more. And so I'm going to take a sample of the air test to see and a swab test of this mold here to see what type of mold it is, how big of a risk it plays, and if it is airborne. And that also will give us a gauge because when we're done, we want the levels in here to go down. If you don't build a containment like this and cover the furnaces and cover all the goods. Now, like I said, a lot of this stuff is already contaminated. If they saw mold like this and they drilled holes in these walls, this is all contaminated. Anyway, everything got to get cleaned down and wiped down. So we've been here for a day and we just contained everything. We're going to set up negative pressure, clean the studs, clean it get the mold out under negative pressure and then encapsulate clean sanitize and encapsulate everything after we dry it so that's what you definitely want to do if you ever see mold like that don't continue the demo until you follow some type of protocol not to cross contaminate it's a lot easier to take the time to contain and spend the money to contain than it is to have to come in and clean everything and wipe every horizontal surface down and do deep cleaning and clean the furnace and clean everything which may still be the protocol in this case. We just don't want to make it worse because it's already, as you can see, exposed. 